What is going on folks? It is Rigor Mortis. We are back with yet another video and today we are talking about Shiba Inu. Obviously some big news when it comes to exchange listings. We are going to touch base on what happened with Coinbase Pro and why I think it's still good news to be quite honest. We're going to go ahead and take a look at the Robinhood petition and the steps that we are going to take in order to get that Robinhood listing. We're going to go ahead and look at the price and where I think this thing is going in the near term and long term future. So if you are new around here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, join the family, throw a like on this video. Let's get it out to more people. Comment down below. I want to hear your thoughts and opinions on all things Shiba Inu. Last but not least, folks, I am an official Webull affiliate. The way it works is if you use my affiliate link down in the description below and open up a brokerage account with Webull, you get a free stock valued from $3 all the way up to $300. And when you deposit $100 into that brokerage account to trade with, you can get a free stock valued from $8 all the way up to $2,000. And not to mention the fact that you can now trade cryptocurrencies on Webull. I really hope one of you lucky folks out there gets that $2,000 stock. Let's go ahead and talk about this exchange, Voyager. It's a very big exchange that a lot, a lot, we see a lot of traffic on it, and it's a big deal, obviously. It is the world of crypto trade. It says here 60 plus digital assets, 10% return. Big deal here, folks. A lot of traffic when it comes to this Voyager app. It says here more than just a meme coin, the DeFi dog Shiba Inu has arrived. Welcome, Shib Army at Shiba Inu coin. Unfortunately, they did use the, the wrong app, but that's okay. We'll go and we'll pass this time to the Voyager app. Get Shib at this following link. Guys, these exchange listings, not you know, not these huge exchange listings, obviously not like a Coinbase or a Robinhood, but these small exchanges, or you know, pretty sizable one when it comes to Voyager, are a big deal for me, and I really like them because it goes to show you how much these guys care about Shiba Inu. They know what it means to list Shiba Inu on their platform. It's obviously a big deal because it's going to give them a lot of traffic on their platform. More users are going to start piling into it. And the earlier these, these exchanges list Shiba Inu, the more bang they will get for their buck. So it's obviously a big deal. And it's a big deal for the community as well. Symbiotic relationship there where both parties are very happy with the outcome, obviously. So big shout out to the Voyager app for listing Shiba Inu. Next up, we are going to talk about Coinbase Pro. What the heck happened with this? I made the video a couple days ago breaking the news that Coinbase Pro was going to list Shiba Inu. And then this happened. It says, we are experiencing technical issues that will temporarily delay the launch, launch of SHIB on Coinbase Pro. At this time, we are disabling deposits of SHIB. Withdrawals are still available. We will provide an updated timeline for restoring deposits and enabling trading as soon as possible. So we get a little bit of information that in the future, we will be able to fully trade Shiba Inu. I'm talking about both buying and selling because it says and the restoring deposits and enabling trading as soon as possible. And we get a little bit of information about what happened when it came to this whole listing. I think personally what happened was as soon as Coinbase Pro started enabling deposits of SHIB onto their platform, there was such a high influx of people storming in, depositing their SHIB onto Coinbase Pro that it just crashed the whole thing. Obviously, guys, we have 500,000 500, people holding this coin. This community is strong. It's huge. And people are trying to get their things on platforms that they can trust and rely on and that have been historically positive and obviously coinbase is one of those big ones that a lot of people use so once they opened up the floodgates the flood came you know so where are we going to go from the future obviously they need to fine tune this thing to handle the just the sheer amount of people that are depositing their ship token and the ones that are going to be trading it on there as well what I thought of whenever I saw this problem with launching the technical issues, I thought of ShibaSwap right away. That was my first instinct. I was like, holy crap, if a platform like Coinbase can go down after enabling just deposits of SHIB token, what the heck is going to happen whenever ShibaSwap potentially launches and we have all those influx of people depositing their SHIB token and their Ethereum onto this platform? So guys, that's why this thing caused me to be a little bit more patient when it comes to SHIB token. Our community is so big, our community is so strong that we have to make sure that we are a little bit more patient when it comes to listings like this. So I'll be patient. I understand that this, th this type of thing might take a little bit so more time. We have grown so fast in such a short amount of time and people are obviously still underestimating the power of SHIB token. There is still good news to come. The Coinbase Pro listing should be activated hopefully here in the next few days, maybe week. 
and then after that we should transition into a regular coinbase listing if you don't know usually whenever coinbase lists a new cryptocurrency the way it works is they'll first enable deposits onto coinbase pro then they'll enable trading on coinbase pro and then they'll enable trading on just the regular old coinbase so i'm, I'm assuming that shiba inu or ship token is going to follow suit but only time will tell we will see about that and speaking of time we have to talk about the robin hood listing guys we absolutely smashed 150,000 signatures we are on our way to 160,000 signatures the next target being 200,000 signatures absolutely insane obviously guys in the trifecta and i call it the trifecta because i've mentioned it so many times on my channel the trifecta of catalyst that i thought was going to make this thing really get revived the Coinbase listing, regular Coinbase, not Coinbase Pro, a Coinbase listing, Robinhood listing, and Shiba Swap. That's that's my trifecta of catalyst when it comes to pretty much, you know, Shiba Inu going, you know, absolutely past the all-time highs and going back to where it was from before. That is the trifecta of catalyst. I thought it was going to go in the order of Shiba Swap, Robinhood. Coinbase, maybe we're going to go in opposite order because Coinbase came first, obviously, even though they are having some technical difficulties. But Robinhood is still a big deal for us because there is probably, I'm guessing, a lot more Robinhood users than Coinbase users. If you're just looking at the layperson out trading on the street, there's probably people, a lot more people using Robinhood than Coinbase. So the Robinhood listing is going to mean worlds for Shiba Inu. I think as soon as the news comes out, we are going to have a little pop. We're going, we're going to go ahead and look at the graph here in a second. I'll show you guys what I mean. And then after that, I think it'll continue to carry this coin forward. Obviously, like I said before, only time will tell. Let's go ahead and look at the price. This is the seven-day chart that I have pulled up here. We saw this little pop right here. This was on the Coinbase Pro listing. Obviously, the technical difficulties. And a lot of people saying that India might have sold a little bit too made this thing go downwards just a slight bit but that being said we are not doing too bad on the seven day chart obviously if we take a step back a little bit on the one month chart we are still doing quite poorly and if we go even more back on the three month chart when compared to all-time highs we are just a drop in the bucket right so how are we going to get back to these all-time highs and i told you guys this before and i'll say it again the trifecta of catalysts as well as a sprinkling of other catalysts such as these other exchange listings and the crypto market recovering if we take a look you know bitcoin isn't doing too hot when it comes to the 24 hour graph and the 30 day as well so obviously shiba inu doing worse on the 30 day as well as the 24 hour but the crypto market is yet to recover folks I mean, Bitcoin is still sitting at sub 40K. Once we start hitting that 45, 50K, 55, even 60K, that's whenever we can say the crypto market is really back in full swing to where it was before. I think it will happen. Only time will be only only time will cure some of these problems that we were having before you know all this stuff about green energy usage when it comes to the crypto market mining being very very cost uh very costly and using up green greenhouse gases and fuels all of this stuff needs to be cleared up before big institutions start pouring their money back in to cryptocurrency and we really see a really nice recovery and obviously things are shaping up very differently at different parts of the world so only time will tell how we will get back when it comes to the crypto market in general when it comes to shiba inu specifically we do need to continue to see these catalysts being hit obviously when it came to shiba swap i was always a big fan of just them releasing it but at this point there's so much uncertainty in terms of the cryptocurrency market i have no uncertainty when it comes to shiba inu but in terms of the crypto market there's just a little bit of a salty taste in some people's mouths and i think that needs to go away prior to shiba swap releasing to, for us to see this really nice little pop that i was talking to you guys before and then continue that upwards trajectory rather than this pop and then a downwards trajectory we don't like seeing this we like seeing catalyst bringing us up and continuing to lift us up into the future obviously folks this is by no means financial advice i'm just here to put you guys on plays that i am into this video is for educational and entertainment purposes only please go out and do your own research before investing in your any of your money in any asset that's pretty much all I have for you guys today. I'm excited about the future, but I am also slightly worried that things might be a little bit slower here in the summer than we anticipated. But we will see how this thing shapes out as we start diving into July and August. Folks, I really appreciate you guys watching all the way to the end. Please go ahead and throw a like on this video. Once again, the best way you can help out this channel is by using that Webull affiliate link to open up a brokerage account, deposit $100. I really hope you get that $2,000 stock. 
It's been your boy, Rigor Mortis. I really appreciate you guys watching to the end. Once again, I'm out of here. Peace.